In November, Rotary Hill was transformed into a sea of red, white, and blue in honor of Veterans Day. A line of vehicles drove through downtown Naperville, bringing 2,012 American flags to Rotary Hill. Upon arrival, dozens of volunteers got to work setting up the flags for the 2012 Healing Field of Honor. Oh, there's no better place to be today. This is Veterans Week. It's a good thing, and uh, it's great that the community is doing that. Exchange Club member Dave Wentz brought the city's first healing field to Naperville in 2009 as a way to honor military men and women. The Exchange Club partnered with Operation Support Our Troops, the Park District, and the city of Naperville to set up 2009 flags, and the community's response was overwhelming. The support and the reaction of people walking through these flags the first time through was so surreal um, that it really almost became sacred ground for a lot of people. Over the past three years, once received requests from residents to bring back the emotional event, so he once again partnered with the organizations for the 2012 Healing Field of Honor. If you've ever been to uh, Arlington Cemetery and looked out over the, the stairs of the Tomb of the Un Unknown Shoulders, take a walk up to the top of Rotary Hill and look down and watch the flags glow in the wind. It is that same exact feel, it's that same exact look. Residents from all across the region could purchase a flag for $30 and for $5 extra, put a tag on the pole to honor a loved one. As I walked through a couple of years ago, people had stories about their uncle, their aunt, their brothers, their sisters, whoever was in the, in the uh, service in the military. And they, they were just saying thank you, thank you, because because of their service, we live in a free country. This year, the proceeds went to Dr. Jim Kelly for funding research to find better treatments for military men and women with post-traumatic stress disorder and traumatic brain injuries.